So it's official. Ole is at the wheel. Manchester United have officially confirmed that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the new permanent manager of Manchester United on a three-year deal. And let's be honest, we didn't see this coming when Solskjaer was announced as Jose Mourinho's replacement as a caretaker manager. But what a journey we've been on since Solskjaer was appointed. It's been fantastic. It really does feel the identity of the club is slowly coming back with performance after performance, win after win, and that miracle in Paris, as soon as that happened, you knew it was a dead cert that Solskjaer was getting a job, and it was a matter of when and not if the announcement was made, and the club has now decided to make the announcement. What's your reaction to it? My reaction, I'm over the moon, because I feel that Solskjaer can be the one that really does help Manchester United refine itself as a football club. Because it certainly wasn't David Moyes, it wasn't Louis van Gaal, and we knew Jose Mourinho was a hiding to nothing. We knew it was going to end in tears at some point. It ended in tears a little bit earlier maybe than we thought it would, but it was the third season. A lot of people predicted that anyway. But Solskjaer is in charge. And what a fucking buzz it really has been. You know, we've lost to Wolves recently, we've lost against Arsenal, and we lost in the first leg against PSG. But remember where we were as a football club before we played Liverpool in that game where Jose Mourinho was sacked a few days later. Just a monotonous lull. That's how United were at that time. And Solskjaer has transformed that in a very short space of time. He's done things that I didn't think he would be able to do. He's shown me he can tactically play against top teams. He surprised everyone away at Spurs. Surprised everyone away at Arsenal, and fuck me, did he surprise everyone away at Paris Saint-Germain. But now Solskjaer is confirmed. Those questions don't need to be asked anymore, because he's in charge. So the club can now look towards next season and start properly planning and mapping out what Manchester United need to do in the summer to catch up with Liverpool, to catch up with Man City. Because this year, Solskjaer, it was, it was a free hit. It was a job interview that he had between now and the end of the season. He was brought in. Ed Woodward said, look, Ole, help Manchester United get back to where he should be. Didn't have to win the Premier League. Didn't have to win the Champions League. Didn't have to win anything. Just help re-establish United's identity. And for a player who played for the club for 12 years and managed the reserves for a couple of years, that was always going to be a semi-easy task. But now, Solskjaer's objectives are different. Next season is where the pressure comes on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And that's where a lot of people expect him to fail. But so many expected him to fail this season and he has blown all expectations out of the water, mine included. I never in a million years thought that we would be announcing Solskjaer as our full-time manager, but he's shown me that I was wrong to doubt him. And why should I have ever doubted him? You know, he's, he's had magic as a player and he's got magic as a manager at United. He's done things and got this squad doing things that I didn't think they were capable of. And that's down to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Mike Phelan, although there's been no announcement on Phelan, Carrick and McKenna, or if there has, I haven't seen it, but I would love that to stay as it is. It's working. And United, Ed Woodward has stumbled across this, the bastard. But United are better for it, with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in charge. I just hope that it's the start of the changes and not the end of the changes. I'll go into that in a bit more detail in another video, but United still need a technical director and we certainly need new signings in the summer. We can't have Ed Woodward saying that Solskjaer has made magic with this squad, so we don't need any more signings. Absolutely wrong, because the objectives this year are different to what they will be next year. And if Solskjaer is going to get this team now to properly catch up with Man City and Liverpool, he needs the infrastructure and the players to make that happen. But United have made the decision. And for me, it's the right decision. I've always said, why do it now? Just wait until the end of the season. But I suppose if it's inevitable, why wait? And that's the decision the club has taken. And for me, I'm buzzing. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is my favourite ever United player. And United fans are in dreamland at the moment. We really should be. One of our club genuine legends is now the manager of the football club that we all love. A player that we love. That's given us some of our favourite memories. And his next European away game is at the fucking new Camp. I can't wait to see what happens to United in the next three years or so under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But after David Moyes, who was a horrible appointment, 
Louis van Gaal, who was a, it wasn't a gamble, that was, a, that was a, a right decision to make at the time, given that we needed someone with experience who won trophies in multiple big clubs around Europe, and he was available. Van Gaal was the right appointment, but it didn't work out. And after those two, we went to Jose Mourinho, because we knew we were fucked. And it didn't work out. But it did, it did to a degree, but it didn't work out in the long term of re-establishing United as a proper force. But now, with Solskjaer in charge, why can't we do that? As I said, he created Magic as a player, and we've seen Magic so far already as a manager. It's just a club now needs to get that structure in place in the football club before next season starts. What is your reaction to that? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is Manchester United's manager on a full-time contract. Ole is at the wheel. He's going nowhere. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you are new and you're still here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Until next time, though, take it easy.